The roof covering and the deck underneath form one of your home's critical shields of protection from high winds and rain. Unfortunately, this shield is often the first to be lost during hurricanes and tornadoes. Loss of the shingles, tiles, or metal panels makes the house more vulnerable to water damage. The loose roofing material inevitably becomes windborne debris that can damage your home and other structures. But while the loss of roofing can make your home vulnerable to water infiltration, loss of the roof deck, often referred to as sheathing, can result in excessive damage to your home and your possessions. As wind blows over the roof, strong uplift forces pull on the roof. These uplift forces try to pull off the roof covering and the roof deck. If the roof deck is blown off, the inside of your home becomes completely exposed to the elements. Trusses or rafters may become unstable and the entire roof structure may collapse. The following techniques can be used during roof installation on both new and existing homes and are best performed by a licensed contractor. For new construction, install a roof deck of 5 8 thick plywood to maximize wind and windborne debris resistance with eight penny ring shank nails spaced six inches apart at all connections. Make sure that the nails penetrate directly into the roof framing. In your existing home, be sure to look in the attic to confirm that the roof decking is properly nailed to the roof framing. If you can see nails along the sides of rafters or trusses where the nail penetrates the decking, your roof deck may not be securely attached. For new construction or when installing a new roof covering, you can create a secondary water barrier by installing self-adhering flashing tape or modified polymer bitumen strips such as peel and seal over the joints in your roof deck. This will help keep out the rain in the event the roof covering is damaged or destroyed by severe weather. If you are not installing a new roof covering, the use of a spray foam adhesive can secure the roof deck. Install one layer of number 30 underlayment, sometimes called felt paper, over the roof decking and secondary water barrier. The felt helps with drainage in the event water gets under the roof covering. Install a roof covering that has been tested to meet current building code requirements, such as ASTM D3161, modified for 110 miles per hour, or UL2390 for wind resistance and UL2218 for impact resistance. Be sure to specify these standards and look for labels on the products confirming these standards. If you are not able to fasten the roof deck with 8D ring shank nails or foam adhesive, you can significantly increase the roof's resistance to uplift from the wind by applying a bead of construction adhesive using a caulking gun along both sides of the intersection of the roof decking and the rafters or trusses. Be sure to look for an adhesive that has been tested to specific levels. For more information about protecting your home from disaster, visit www.flash.org today.